The Hat Man, the Alpha. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hat Man channel. As some of you may have noticed, I like to talk about mobile media players, such as this one here, or the Microsoft Zune, or something I haven't talked about, and I will eventually, the Sansa Fuse. That's because I really like music, and so I've been on a mission to explore all of the touchscreen digital media players. On the screen right now is a mock-up of a timeline for as many of the touchscreen media players that I could find from the major manufacturers that all competed together in the same era. I kind of want to go through all of them if I can, but uh, you know, some of them are hard to find fully boxed and that's what I really like to do is show the full unboxing experience. It creates more content for you to watch and also it's good for showing what kind of value you got when you purchased one of these back in the day versus me having to guess what they came with by not having the package. So yeah, hopefully I can show most of these to you in the future. For now, today we have the Arcos 4.3 Vision. Let's um, move on to the next stuff. Be sure to like, subscribe, smash the bell, and share the video if you want to. All these things help a lot. I could use all the help I can get, guys. Please and thank you. Oh, and if you want me to be sponsored by G Fuel, Eh? Eh? Then, uh, make some noise for them, too. I would love to have a G Fuel sponsorship someday. Now, without further ado, let's just look at this box. On the front, we have a nice little picture of the device. Clearly states this is Android, and this is one of the first Arcos made for the for Android players, so that's cool. This is an 8GB model, but it's expandable, so don't worry about that. You have HD video playback at 720p, you got a camcorder at 720p, Wi-Fi, HDMI TV out. On the side here, not a whole lot. On the other side, not a whole lot. On the top, once again, very basic. On the bottom, uh, we got a bunch of text. Yeah, we got what the package contains. You got your USB cable, earphones, and quick start guide. Not a lot. Minimum requirements, and then the same stuff in different languages. Cool. And then trademark stuff. So that's that. And then on the back, it tells you what the thing does. You can read that if you want to. We'll go over what it does later, but this is the basics. Hey, look at that. If you've seen my previous videos on the uh, Arcos devices, you know, Big Bug Bunny, we've seen that before. All right, all right, all right. We've looked at the box, not a lot to it. Let's uh, unbox it. Oh, there she blows. That's a lot bigger than I, than I anticipated. Let's compare that to the Microsoft Zoom, which has my custom uh, attachment for Bluetooth transmission. It is the same height as the Zoom with the attachment. Without the attachment, it's significantly shorter. It's also significantly less wide. So this is about the size most players are. This, on the other hand, is a lot larger. So they really were trying to go for a micro tablet here. Let's put that to the side. Here's the insert. We'll take out the insert. All right. Cool, here's the earbuds, which look like every other pair of what some might call dirty buds. But uh, I just call these crap. Quick start guide, user guide, I guess. And on, over here is probably the quick start. I don't know. Legal and safety notices, that's fun. Internet tablet have questions, contact us, cool. Music credit, a lot of devices back in the day came with e-music credits. I remember seeing this on every device that I that I got back in the day. E-music, I don't even know what that is. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I've never looked into it. I don't know what the hell e-music is. Last and totally least, limited time warranty obligations for hardware products and software are limited to the terms set below. Okay, all right, so that's the terms for the warranty. That is everything in the box. Wait, where's the USB cable? Oh, okay. So I guess the guy that sold this didn't include the USB cable. That's fine. I got a couple off of Amazon. I got the right cable for this. Let's look at the user guide. Let's see if you got any fun pictures and it's all in black and white. All right, starting up. Nice. 
This shouldn't be too hard to use though. I don't think I need to read this. Every other page is a different language. There's not a lot to actually read. Cool. So let's put everything back. We'll close up the box and we'll move on. Oh, uh, a little peely. Let's peel this together, guys! Ah, uh, nice peel. We'll put that on the wrapper and put that in the box. Let's take a look at this device. Every angle. Here we have the front. So that's the front. Here's the side. That's your micro SD card slot. That's your mini uh, HDMI port right here on the top. There's nothing. It won't focus. Focus! That's good enough. On the other side, you have buttons. That's volume, and then that is power slash reset. Oh, and a power LED. On the bottom, you have your micro USB port and your aux port. On the back, you have uh, some sort of QR code, your camera, bumps for putting it on the table, and then last but not least, actually a kickstand. Look at that. Hey, that's pretty flippin' sweet. It's time to turn this bad boy on. Oh, before uh, we look at what's on the device, I'm gonna put on the screen the specs that I could gather and the features in, in a list. It's everything that I that I was able to figure out before looking at it. And uh, if, I, if we discover anything in the future, I will tack that onto the list. So we'll bring the list back and add some features that, <laughs> that we discover in the future. All right, done looking, let's move on. So this wants me to calibrate the screen. So let's press a little cross, press longer on the cross. Okay, this is creating fingerprints. Tap the screen to continue. Okay, set up wizard. Next, next. Change time zone. Okay, next. Oh, Wi-Fi. I gotta blur that. There's two options that I clicked while connecting. Th those are disable power save and disable connect share or something. Okay, third party applications. Install. No application to install, okay. Uh, that's probably because the servers for whatever this is are down. All right, next. Accelerometer calibration. Well, that was quick without any input. In-store demo mode, nope. Okay, we're done. Now we can do stuff. So I guess we just explore the device now. Can I turn it to the side? Oh, you can turn it to the side. All right, cool, we can do it like this. So you got your video app, music app, gallery app, camera app, contacts, email, browser, settings, user manual, online registration, and files. So you can browse your files on here, which makes sense, it's Android. Now, where is the next screen? Okay, so each screen is related to your media. At least the widgets are. Videos, all videos. No content on the device, I wonder why. I figured they would put Big Buck Bunny on here as a trial file. No trial music either. Probably no pictures either. Nope. So no stock content to be had here. Unfortunate. I wonder if this device was ever used and then uh, to, like wiped or something. I know it still had the peel on it, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe somebody did actually wipe it for no reason. Let's try out the camera. Where? Oh, oh, that's right. It's on the bottom. That's weird. Let's do a little video, and then I'll put this in into the uh, video later. Hello! I am a small zombie. My name is Fred. How are you? Nice. I'm good, too. So that means this thing has a microphone. Somewhere. Oh yeah, also- ah! It has, uh, front dual firing speakers. So, let's, uh, update the features list. Whoop! Okay, I just watched that video for the first time, and, oh my god, the audio is so bad. <laughs> let's go to the app drawer. Let's see what we got going on in there. That's not it. That's not it. This is it. Arcos remote control. New Arcos device detected. So this works with other Arcos devices. Interesting. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Calendar, clock, system monitor, and the YouTube app, which definitely does not work. No longer supported. And this is a web this is a web interface as well. It's not that's not the full app. 
Otherwise, the app would have loaded an old UI and just fa would fail to work. Okay, so YouTube definitely does not work, and it won't work in the browser either. Uh, there should be an app store, but I don't see one. Maybe that's what that thing in the setup was supposed to be, is downloading the app store. Uh, so that means what we're going to have to do is sideload some apps. I wanted to see if we could explore the UI of the broken app store, because you know it's, you know it's not going to work, but I wanted to see the UI of the custom app store this thing would have come with. But we can't download it, obviously. So we're not going to get to look at the uh, custom app store this came with. Because, yeah, it didn't use Google Play. It used some other bullcrap. Let's go to the home menu. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to pause my recording, put some files on this thing, and we'll test the audio playback, the video playback, and the microphone one last time, just for funsies. And then we'll try to install some stuff. So I'm going to take a break from recording, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of moments uh whoop. okay i'm back so while i was gone and i was putting files on here something strange happened when i connected it to the computer the ui flipped completely upside down yeah so now we have to flip the device for some reason so that's a weird glitch anyway i've got files on this thing now so we can try out some stuff so we already tried out the camera. Let's let's uh, go to the app menu, see if we can just do basic uh, audio recordings. I already forgot what apps we have. Sound recorder. I'm gonna hold this up to my face and see if we can get better audio than with the camera. Okay, that's been saved, I guess. I guess in a snap, I will play the recording. Okay, so this is me doing some audio. I hope you understand that this is not the best there is, so I apologize for the sound that is coming through the speakers into your ear holes. That's about all I can think of to say, so we're going to break out into song now. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Okay, so I'm just recording with the phone. No extra mic, so I apologize for the lesser audio. But I'm turning this on so that I can get the audio recording off of it for the part of the video where I recorded. And now it says there's a firmware update available, so I figured I would go ahead and record this part, uh, <laughs> there's this little thing, and make it part of the video. Firmware version 2.4.83. You want to update your product. Okay. So we're going to update this firmware. I didn't think that'd be possible. No, Elmo. Hey, Mr. Cat. No, 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 no. Finish. Install. Okay. Maybe the update fixes the uh, fact that it... it turns upside down oh still upside down oh my lord it's still upside down well there you have it an up an update to a device that probably shouldn't even have uh, servers up for it at all hi uh, me from the editing bay again so I am looking at the recording in the editor and if you look at the audio right here these are these two chunks are synced up and then suddenly it starts to kind of get faster you see this chunk is over here this chunk is over here i think i can't really tell but if you scroll all the way to the end of the two recordings the this this first one that i highlighted that's the main mic recording. This one is the device recording. Look how much time is left on the main recording when the when the device recording ends. Where, where my mouse is right now is the end. Look how much time there is. Why does it speed things up? It speeds up the recordings and I have, I, I, I don't know, I don't have any answers. That's just how it is. Oh well, I guess. We'll move on to the next thing now. I, I put on a video. Let's try out the video player. Let's see what the video player looks like. Because it has to be this orientation. 
This is the Red vs. Blue Special Edition Zune episode. Came with the Halo Zune. Oh. Kind of basic. Uh, let's see what we got in the settings. Oh, you can bookmark, you can change your brightness right on the fly. Settings. Display volume bar, display video title, sound, just settings. Single play. So you can... You can repeat the videos if you want to, I guess. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but it's cool to have the option. Now let's see what HD looks like. Is it gonna play? It's a WMV file this time. Huh. Doesn't seem to be playing the file. Maybe it's the wrong aspect ratio. Maybe you have to convert your files and it, it doesn't just c uh, uh, encode it on the fly or whatever. Alright then. Uh, you have to convert this stuff if you, if you want to see your videos. If it's past the maximum, what's it called, file size. Which I guess makes sense. When you put stuff on Zoom, it they uh, convert the videos to to match the um, device. But since it's drag and drop, I didn't think I'd have to do that on here. I, I figured it would just play it and it would like downscale it on the fly. But I guess not. So that's something to take a note of. What else we got to look at? Oh, let's try out reading files. Oh yeah, it's upside down. Okay, so I have three different test files. One is a, a text document. One is a a docx document, and one is a PDF document. Let's try test. It crashed the HTML viewer. Cool! So you can't read .txt files. Let's uh, try .docx. Cannot open file, but it knows it's a doc. So I guess you would have to get a document, a document viewer. Let's try PDF. No. No, no text documents, no Microsoft Word documents, and no PDFs. Unfortunate. So we tested the mic. We tried files, uh, we tried the camera, tried video. So I guess next up is music and installing apps. Let's try to install an app since we're here. Let's do Angry Birds. Hey, it lets me install stuff, okay. I wasn't sure it was even gonna uh, get to this get this far. Oh, that's Angry Birds Space. I didn't even copy over Angry Birds regular. Oops, I copied on the wrong Angry Birds files. But let's see if it works. It installed, all right. So Space installed, let's do Rio and then Seasons. All right, those installed. Let's go to the home menu and try them out. Let's do Seasons. Hey, did you look at that? A, a working game, I think. Yay! Connection error? I don't think I ever tried this game. I didn't know that was gonna happen. This one should work. Yay! I'm playing the game! New high score! Alright, let's try Angry Birds Space. Well, it's working! So that works. So you can install old Android 2.0 apps. That's cool. All right, now let's test the um, the video. I mean, sorry, the music app. So in the music app, you've got your art, your information about the song, your play pause, your volume. Let's see what this music thing does. Oh, that takes you to the, uh, the browser, okay. And then you click on the currently playing and it takes you back, cool. What's this do? Oh, that's the up next list. Cool. So that's your cue. Now where are the settings? Right here. Okay, cool. Party shuffle, delete. Why would you be? Able, why would you want to delete straight from here? That I feel like that's gonna cause people to accidentally click on it just because it's here. All right, you can add to, to set, uh, playlist. You have audio settings, 3D balance. Audio settings are only available when headset is used. Okay, cool. So here's shuffle and then repeat. Cool. It's uh, got some good features, and yeah, I like it. Search music. Doom. Oh, it, does, it doesn't take you to a search page. You just have these results in this little menu right here. It's a little odd, but all right. IDKFA Doom 2. 
we didn't try making a playlist. Let's make a playlist here on the device itself. So I'm gonna add running from evil to a playlist. Oh, there's a, there's a favorites list that's automatic. Uh, add to favorites. So I guess you have a, a an auto playlist you can make that's called favorites. So let's go to, there we go. So here is the main thing. Playlist is probably gonna have the favorites in it. No, but there is an automatic playlist for my recordings. So how would you get to your favorites? Just swipe right here, I guess. Recently added, recently played, and then all albums and favorites. So let's go to add to a playlist. Cool, so populated the playlists. That's pretty painless. You can also view your storage. So this will take you through your folders, but it, it, it doesn't let you view everything on the system. Artists, I only have one, but it'd be in alphabetical order with the, the letters the, le the letters uh, signified by a, a tab here. And so there should be a, a, a widget on the screen somewhere to let me control the music. There we go. So that's cool, I like this so far. Ooh, we should try the browser now. Let's see if we can get to at least frogfind.com. Web page not available? Is, there, is the internet not connected? Wi-Fi error? I'm gonna try restarting this thing and see if we can't get the uh, damn internet back. Oh, I see the Wi-Fi signal now. Let's try to go to the browser. Oh my god, it actually loaded. And it looks modern. Let's just search banana. Okay. We have results. Let's see if we can load Wikipedia. No. Bananarepublic.gap.com it's impossible for it to establish if, if the website is secure or not. All right, so now we can try frogfind.com. So here we are, surfing the web on frogfind. So we can at least use this. Can't really use the regular internet, but we can use frogfind to help get this thing online and, and searching for information. All right, we now know the browser is extremely limited. What's the user manual look like? <laughs> it's missing on the device. All right, whatever. Thanks for nothing. Let's create a new contact. Billy. Boberson. Baba Toab. Tayob. Uh, I'll leave it like that. Phone number, none. Email, none. Post address, none. Organization. Work company. I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. We have a contact. What's he look like? All right, cool. So that's contacts. I guess the last thing to do is check the uh, TV output. So let me uh, wipe off this TV. Let me get the cable and we can do that. All right, switch to TV. Oh, and, and the touchscreen is a mouse. Okay, I have it in the right orientation. I have to have it like this to use it. And then we have a mouse. I guess I double, I double tap to click stuff, right? I don't hear anything coming from the HDMI audio. Oh, there we go. Cool. This looks better. This looks way better. This angle down here kind of looks bad. I'll hold it like this. So let's go to the browser again. Now, how do I move around? I don't think I can. There's no scroll bar. All right, we'll go back to home. Okay, let's view the picture pictures that I put on. This is that magazine cover, uh, our magazine article from um, the uh, knife video that I made where I repair that knife. I also can't seem to move around the, the um, picture. This is the Microsoft Executive Briefing Center uh, background that comes with the Microsoft Executive Briefing Center edition Zoom that was given out to executives and business partners at Microsoft for the uh, first generation of Zoom. This is the background that came, it came with them. That's what I have applied to the background of the uh, uh, device right now. Okay, so it basically is the same interface. You just use a mouse. Neat, very neat. Now let's see what happens if I unplug. It just goes back to normal. Okay, cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much 
absolutely everything that there is to this device. I don't think I can update it. I, I looked around for update software uh, before I started this. I couldn't find a single goddamn thing. So I can't update it, and, and if that added any features or, or apps, I wouldn't, I won't know. So that is the Arcos 4.3 Internet Tablet. I hope you guys uh, have fun with this, because I know I did. This is a very interesting device, and I would have had a good time with this if I had it when it was new. I would have loved it. I like it as it is right now. Although I will say it is missing the FM uh, radio, which is odd. The previous Vision 3, which didn't run Android, had that, and you could record songs off of the radio with it. You also can't connect it to an FM signal to transmit to your car radio. That's something you could do with the Vision 3, which was, that was awesome. It's, it is missing some features that the previous version had that didn't even run Android, a more powerful operating system. So, yeah, it's uh, not perfect, but it is really cool. I like this thing a lot. Let me know in the comments what you think about this thing, and uh, if you want me to do any kind of particular device, let me know, and I'll try to find something. And yeah, like the video, hit subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and help me out in the algorithm, and I will see you in the next interesting video. Bye-bye.